Hi and welcome to another episode of Grey Mouse Does Stuff. In today's tutorial I will show you some other archive files available for the Apple II. These are the files that I have transferred earlier and I used Apple Access to to transfer each individual file over to this ProDOS disk which I've labelled Arc PC. In this video taking you through the steps of extracting all these files using various programs. Let's start with one of the more common file format. So let's start with the gzip file format. This one requires several steps and requires a couple of programs. The first program we need is a program called Dave X and we also need a program called GZPK version 2.0. Now GZPK 2.0 doesn't quite work properly from booting up straight from the disk so we're going to be using Dave X as a command line interface to extract the a2pctxt.gzip file that you see here. The first thing we have to do is copy gzip file over to the gzpk disk. Let's do that now. check the disk to see if it's copied successfully alright so the files there this disk is not bootable at this stage I have not been able to get this program to work booting off it that's why we're going to use the command line program Dave X to run the program manually. We'll swap some disks around. In drive 1 we'll put the Dave X floppy disk and in drive 2 I will put this disk into drive 2. Reboot. Let's catalog the disk first. The only way I've managed to find uncompressing a gzip file is by first converting it to a zip file using gzpk. Run the Dave X program. Okay, so it's version 1.30p. Let's convert that gzip file. Change the path 
to the gzpk folder where the file is. Can do a catalog. Here's the program. So let's pass a parameter to the command line program. And the name of the gzip file. It'll have have some junk characters on the screen when it converts it. Pretty quick as you saw. Let's catalog the disk and see if a zip file was created. Good, it's done the conversion. Let's reboot into Angel and see if we can unzip that file. enter switch over to the other volume so press 0 select the GZPK disk Go down to the zip file and press enter. This is what's inside the zip archive. Press escape. Okay, now we have to change the destination volume. As you can see from the bottom of the screen, it says Angel at the moment. We need to make sure we change that. So to do that, press tab. Now the source and destination are the same volumes. Let's extract it. Go down to the zip file again. Press enter. done. Press escape to go back to the main menu. Let's add a 
add a tile to the bottom of the list. So let's go down and view it. Press V for view. Done. We have converted a gzip file to a zip file and then extracted the zip file. This is the only method that I have found that works on an Apple IIe. The next archive format we're going to have a look at is the ARC format. We have a file here called dosapple.arc and we're going to extract that file. To do that we need a program called DARC. With DARC in drive 1 and this disk in drive 2, let's extract that ARC file. It's version 2.1b. Press enter. So we need to set up a few options to get this to work by pressing S for set the name of enter type in the full volume or path to the file including the file name and extension we set the destination path. Now just type the volume name. Right, that sets the source and destination for the files. It's just the contents of the ARC file. So press L. Enter. That's what's inside the ARC file. Let's extract that one. Press enter. And press E and enter. And we're just going to extract all the files. A and enter.
extracted. Press enter. Let's have a look at it using copy to plus. Apple DOS .doc is the name of the file that we extracted. Let's have a look at it. There we go. The ARC file has been extracted. Let's have a look at the .bxy file now. I've got a file called flop launch .bxy. Now this format is usually for the Apple II GS. I will show you how to extract it on an Apple IIe anyway so you get the idea of how to do it. We're going to be using Shrinkit version 3.4 and we need to have a blank ProDOS disk. Let's reboot with Shrinkit in drive 1 Put the data disk with the BXY file into drive 1 and a blank ProDOS disk into drive 2. do a quick catalog of each one okay let's check the other drive Press tab. And press enter. Alright, let's extract that file. this disk that's the file press enter press spacebar on the files we're going to extract we'll do the whole lot Let's put 
ticks beside each file and press enter. New dot disk is the blank disk, so press enter on. Done. Let's do a catalog of the disk. So that worked. That's how you extract a BXY file. Let's extract another couple of formats. History.lzh and docu.zoo. Now the history.lzh was created using LHA or LHARC on a PC. And this is also a common archive format. The zoo was created on a PC as well but it's not as common. To extract those files we need to use Angel for both of them. So let's reboot into Angel. As you can read from the title screen there, it does certain versions of LHA and Zoo. So let's extract those two files. Press enter to start with. We need to switch disks, so press 0. This is the one we want. Press enter. Destination is volume is wrong. So press tab. Now both the source and the destination volumes are the same as you can see from the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen. Let's start with the history.lzh press enter this is the contents of the file press enter again to extract it
done. Press escape to go back. You can see history dot doc. Let's have a quick look at it. V for view. That's fine. Let's have a look at the zoo file. Press escape. Press enter. Again, make sure the source and destination is volumes are correct. And that's the contents of the zoo file. So press enter. done. Press escape to go back to the menu. Apple.doc. Let's have a look at that one. So that's it, that's how you extract those two LHARC and zoo files. This is where the Apple II side of things end. If you're interested to know how I created those archive files for this tutorial, please continue watching. And to look at the zoo format, ARC format, LHA format, the gzip format. Here we have some source files on my PC which I'm going to create different archive files out of. So I'll make a quick note of them on my notepad up here. It's just a bit easier for me to remember the file names. I have them handy. use each of these files and create a different archive format for each file and go back one directory uh, so I'll just turn the caps off now let's have a look okay, let's begin with zoo which is right here so let's get some instructions for zoo Okay, that's pretty straightforward. I'll have a quick look at the extended help. some more options and 
and some more options. A for add, name of the archive, let's call it and now we need to specify the full path to the Apple doc file. have a look. That's one zoo file. Let's create a arc arc archive this time. Right, so here are the switches for the arc utility. We'll create an arc file out of apple dos dot doc. A for add the name of the archive that we're going to use including the, the extension and then the file that we're going to compress including the full path Done. Let's create a LHA file. So this version of LHA creates a LZH uh, file. So just make sure that you type in the correct dot LZH extension. LHA, A for add, name of the archive we would like to create, so I'll just call it history, dot L, LZH, and now the name of the file, including the full path. Zip. the path and then the full file name
right um, I'm not happy with the DOZ extension so let's fix that up files we've got we have got a zoo file a arc file a lzh archive file gzip files also next thing to do is use apple access 2 to transfer these over to the apple 2 i'll see you in a bit the files are ready ready for use if you found this tutorial useful, please leave any comments below. If you like this video, please like it. Feel free to share it. And please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.